Alright, so I finally finished the bullstone. Now we've got some bird seed because we couldn't find any wheat, heaven forbid. Um, but we've got it nailed down, so we'll pan down. So here's the millstone. I've actually got it nailed down here because when we started to grind, the bottom started to move to the top. But I don't think that's going to be a problem once we get seed in there. So anyway, I've got a stick. It doesn't go all the way in. It goes into here. And as you can see, um, it's not flower, but you can start to see where it's starting to, to break up. So, again, put it in. Okay. And I'll just lift it up here, and here you can see the, the markings that I made as per the, the findings. So, it should be interesting to see how well this actually starts working. And it's only a little knob, and it's just a hole, just a little bit bigger so you can actually get the uh, the seed in. Now, as an interesting thing, when we got this, it also came with corn. Now, obviously corn isn't period, but one of the big things um, that I've I've learned about during the potato famine, the, the British gave the, hello, they gave the, um, gave corn to the, the Irish, and that was just simply to bring the cost of the wheat down so people could actually afford wheat. Problem with the potato famine, though, is that nobody had uh, millstones really because they had potatoes and you don't need a, a millstone for a potato so they didn't, didn't didn't have enough millstones and when they had corn they didn't know how to uh, to grind it what you have to do is actually grind it twice so <laughs> the, the problem was they ground it once just like everything else and then they cooked it and ate it unfortunately corn has shards if you only grind it insufficiently and so a lot of people died during uh, uh, eating it because it perforated the intestine and everything like that. Anyway, I think we'll just finish a shot of me grinding away on the millstone.